welcome to the final Medieval 2 Cinematic Editor tutorial. I am Daniel Plöger aka Dineed. In this tutorial I will show you how to make screenshots from any camera angel and without limitations. For making screenshots you need the program Virtual Dub at first. For downloading it google for Virtual Dub. Click at the first link virtualdub.org, change into the section Downloads and the next page will lead you to the download. Save the RAW file on your desktop and extract it. Start the file virtualdub.exe after extracting all files. Click OK in the next steps until virtualdub has started. You can now minimize it because we need to do different things first before we will use it. Open your Medieval 2 installation folder and choose one of your Cinehead files where you want to make screenshots with. I chose the mod Stainless Steel 6 and I will use the Stainless Steel Cinehead files therefore. I prepared a replay with the name Screenshot. I'm going to insert its name in the Stainless Steel Cinehead Edit CFG now. Once that is done, the Stainless Steel Cine at Edit bed can be started. How to use the Cinematic Editor is described in the previous tutorials. Search for a spot where you want to make a screenshot from. Maybe these cavalry units. Pause the replay there and set your perspective. Create a new camera. When you are satisfied with the camera angel, you can change the field of view by checking the FOV box. It will add an additional line in the CineEd window. When a keyframe has been added, you can draw the field of view up and down. You can also roll the camera if you check the roll option. By dragging its line up and down, you can roll the camera sidewards. The crux of using the cinematic editor for making screenshots is the size of the rendering segment. You need to make it very small, just a few frames long. Draw the render cordons very close to the current point in time. Zoom in by using the mouse wheel and make sure that the space between the two cordons is less than one second. Now save this camera. and search for another spot where you can make a screenshot from. This is another nice spot. Create another camera and repeat the procedure. You don't even always need to check the boxes at position and focus. It's enough to check field of view now. Insert a keyframe and zoom in by dragging the field of view line down. If you have zoomed in with the field of view option you can get very close to the units and they don't get cut off like the engine usually does when you zoom in close to a unit. Place the render cordons very close together again. and save this camera too. Here I'm going to take the last picture from. You should know how it works now. Create a new camera when you are satisfied with the perspective. Check the field of view box Insert a keyframe, drag the keyframe up or down to change the field of view, 
readjust the camera position and place the render cards in the end. After saving this camera you can group the three cameras into one camera group. I have named mine Screenshot. You can now render all your screenshots together. To do that open the Stainless Steel Cine at Render CFG and insert the replay and camera group names. The camera group should be saved in the subfolder Mods Stainless Steel 6 Cameras. That's the default path in the Stainless Steel Cine at Render CFG 2. Now insert Screenshot Camera Group XML into the Stainless Steel Cine at Render CFG. You can now also change the screenshot resolution. In order to do that, change the values of the lines width and height in the lower end of the config file. Save the file. And start the stainless steel cine at render bed to render the screenshots. After a short time of rendering you will find the rendered scenes in the subfolder Capture TGA. Drag and drop the first rendered file into Virtual Dub now. With this program you can extract the frames of the video to have single pictures with the highest quality settings. To extract the frames now you need to go to File, Export, Image Sequence. Type in the file name which you would like to use and choose the directory where the file is going to be saved in. You will find your screenshot in that folder now. Repeat this with the other video files. Now you have got a couple of pictures where you can choose the best from. This was the last Medieval 2 Cinematic Editor tutorial. I am Daniel Plöger and I hope you enjoyed the four tutorials. I hope to see some nice Medieval 2 videos or great screenshots from you soon. Don't hesitate to give me the link if you made some. Maybe you will hear from me about the Empire Total War Cinematic Editor next year. Until then, goodbye.